Welcome to SEL Club, everybody. Hi. So we have to explain to all the kids what peer relationships are. That's easy. Peer relationships are how you get along with people who are around your age. That's a great definition, but how do we explain that to the kids who are stuck at home? I have an idea. Has, one, has anyone here ever played a rose blood thorn? What's that? It's an activity where kids can connect with each other about what they're feeling. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. The rose is the highlight of success or something positive that happened to them that day. Right, and the thorn is a challenge they faced. This is something a person could use some support or advice with. Correct. And the bud represents new ideas that have blossomed or something you're looking forward to knowing more about or experiencing. That sounds great. So kids of all ages will connect with each other while they're stuck at home by sharing a rose, a thorn, and a bud. Exactly. Let's try it ourselves. I'll start. My rose today was that I got 100 on my math assessment. My thorn is that my baby sister broke my remote control. My bud is that I started learning how to do TikTok videos and I keep impressing myself with my new moves. Cool. I'll go next. My rose is that I finished my schoolwork early. My thorn is that we are having broccoli for dinner. My bud is that I'm learning how to knit in my free time. Awesome. I guess my rose would be that I beat the next level of my of my favorite video game. My thorn is that my DVR missed taping the last five minutes of my favorite show. So I don't know what how it ends. And my bud and my bud would be that I'm that I'm practicing my script at home. It's starting to look really good. Okay, that's great. Let me try. My rose today is that I signed up for virtual dance lessons. My thorn is that my mom said I couldn't buy this new shirt that I really, really want. And my bud is that I've been going on lots of walks and I'm starting to keep a journal about all the different types of plants in my neighborhood. You got it. And the best part is kids can do this activity with all their friends on the phone or their or with their families every day. This is a great way of showing kids how to work on their friendships and relationships from home. Great idea. I agree. You guys did a great job figuring this out. We hope these this video helps everyone stuck at home. Let's give a big thank you to our SEL ambassadors who have been giving you these great videos all year. On behalf of the whole SEL team, Stay safe, happy, and healthy. Bye. Bye.